Hi, welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Cappies. Welcome back, Capricorns. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Capricorns. Have you been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking in plenty of water, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy-ass temple of yours, Capricorns, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back. Come on in. Have a seat. We're going to see what messages, source, your guardian angels and ancestors have for you in regards to love, Cappies. Love, love, love is in the air, my loves. Come on in, get comfortable, grab your favorite snack, grab your favorite drink, okay? And we're going to talk about this thing called love, all right? Shout out to the Evolving Spirit, shout out to the Soul Tribe. Thank you all so much for your love and support. I appreciate you. Your love never goes unnoticed on this platform, Evolving Spirit. If you would love to become an Evolving Spirit like I myself, don't forget to click that join link down below. It gives you exclusive discounts on your personal readings, your email questions, and your love live stream questions when I go live, my loves. And welcome back to the ones that are new here. I appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. That way you're notified for when your reading post is here the next two days. Kathy is I Shay. All right. So source, angels, ancestors, protect my space and aura. As I channel the messages here for Capricorn placements, what messages do we have here today for the God and Goddesses, Gordon Angels, Ancestors? What do we have for the Divine Masculine, the Divine Feminine? What do their higher selves need to know here in regards to love for the month of May, Source, Angels, Ancestors? What do they need to know? What do we have for my Cappies? What's the surface beneath everything here, Damn, um, Gina? Well, 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 Cappies, lean in, honey, lean in. We have the Ten of Cups here. So right off the bat, Capricorn, someone sees you as their Ten of Cups here. Okay, this could be referencing to family members, a particular person here, a spouse here. But someone definitely sees you, Capricorns, as Ten of Cups energy here. Meaning wishful fulfillment here as well. Some of you this person could be a water sign here. We have Cancerian, Pisces, and Scorpio energy. Wow, beautiful. Let's see what else is beneath the surface here. Okay. Guardian Angels, what else can you tell me in regards to Capricorn placements? And Cross Watchers, welcome back, my loves. You are welcome here as well. What do we have for Capricorn placements when it comes to their love life? What's beneath the surface here that they need to be made aware of for the month of May? What do they need to know here for the next two days, Gordon Angels, Ancestors? What do we have for my sexy ass cappies? What do we have for the unicorns? Thank you. Ooh, we have the two of pentacles here, cappies. Someone's going to be doing some juggling here. Or you're definitely trying to make a decision here when it comes to a particular situation here. Again, this can be involving your family and a particular person here, all right? Or you're trying to juggle more than one things on your plate as far as financially here, all right? But this is definitely your energy here. This could also be someone that is a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn here as well, all right? But definitely trying to balance out a particular situation here. Yeah, we have the Seven of Ones here coming out being very defensive as well here, Cappies. What's going on? All right, and then we have the Queen of Wands here, fire energy here. All right, some of y'all, this person could be a fire sign here. We have Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries energy here. All right, let's get one more card here, Guardian Angels, and then we will clarify. Definitely stick around. I'm going to use the Love Romance Angel deck as well to get further clarifications in regards to your love life, okay? One more card here before we... Clarify and break down the cards individually here, Guardian Angels. What else do Capricorn? Damn. All right. I'm going to take the card that flipped over. We have, again, the Two of Swords. Yeah, there's a decision here that's going to have to be made here, Capricorns. Okay? Some of y'all are kind of guarding yourself when it comes to this particular person here. 
which makes sense of why we have the seven of wands energy here being very dis being very defensive excuse me making sure to set healthy boundaries for yourself so there could be someone coming back in again it could be this fire sign here water sign or earth sign or hell even air sign here aquarius gemini or libra we basically now have all the elements out on the table all right so anyone can embody the energies here capricorn but there's definitely a decision here that's had to be made someone is feeling very indecisive here and someone is just being indecisive because they're not wanting to make a decision here right off the bat which you should not you want to take your time with making this decision here some of y'all it could be this queen of ones coming back towards you masculine energy here or this king of ones here there's definitely a masculine energy here rather if they're a female or masculine right we all hold masculine and inner and uh feminine energy within us right but however here there is definitely a situation here where someone is going to be coming back to offer you the ten of cups here right but someone is being indecisive here and they're not quite too sure because they're holding their guard up here okay that's what i see here so let's get some clarification Clarify, damn, I was going to say clarify the two of pentacles and we already had a card jump out. Bam, here you go, Cappies. That's why that card jumped out like that. Hmm, okay, you're going to make a statement in your reading, okay? All right, so this is what this is. You're trying to figure out if you want to remain single here, all right, because you're bearing your fruit from your own damn garden. you trying to figure out now, do you even want somebody to come in right now, right? I feel you, Cappies. I feel you, all right? So you're trying to debate if you want to, you know, step yourself into another relationship or partnership or commitment here, all right, or remain single and continue to tend to your own fucking crops. I'm just saying, Cappies, okay? Wow, clarify the seven of ones regarding angels, ancestors, okay, or vice versa. This is this person, Capricorns, okay? So I wasn't the flaw on the wall, just take it where it resonates or whatever side of the fence you're on. We're all grown here, and we know our size shoes, I shame. All right, yeah, I can't make this up. We have everything is fine, aka the ten of swords split in the deck here with the chariot card, count Syrian energy, air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Yeah, someone is just making a decision here to move forward because this particular person here portrayed you in your past Capricorns is why I see now why you have your guard up here, right? And this person is coming back to you and they want to take action here all of a sudden. Some of y'all, this person may want to rebuild the family here, the foundation here between you two, okay? So you're definitely going to want to make sure to use your discernment and follow your intuition here, Capricorns, okay? Clarify the seven of ones for Capricorn placements. Why do we have the seven of ones here? What is Capricorn being defensive about here? What a Capricorn needs to know in regards to this particular energy here or this fire element? Clarify the seven of wands. Why do we have the seven of ones here? Yeah, I just seen the three of swords. So this person definitely broke your heart. Okay, they could have placed you in a third party here. Yeah, we have justice because you want justice. You're not going for that bullshit, Capricorns, all right? And you're going to receive justice because anytime the, the justice card comes out for me, this tells me that there was a situation where it was injustice, right? Which is we did see the Ten of Swords come out or split the deck, however, right? So again, this tells me that this person portrayed you. They may have lied to you, done things to you behind your back. All right, this could have been a Libra here for some of you all. All right, but your justice, you feel like it's going to be you tending to your crops, you moving forward, you being single, you choosing who's going to appreciate you versus this person here that was injustice in your life. Or this could have been a spouse, an ex-lover here, okay? Clarify the queen of ones or guardian angels. However, they find you very attractive, very stable and well put together. Well, of course they do, right, Capricorns? Clarify the Queen of Wands, Gordon Angels, Ancestors. Why do we have the Queen of Wands here for Cappies? Yeah, we have the Four of Swords, Air Energy here again, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Yes, they have sat here and meditated on this. They're thinking about this, all right? They're reflecting and revising on the situation and what happened. They can't believe that they feel like they're going to lose you as well. I'm picking up here. 
because you are like I said, I feel like every time they watch your social media websites and they watch you and they observe you and they see how, you know, just confidence you are in yourself here, right? You know, it hurts them. It, you know, it startles them. Well, what did they thought? Okay. All right. I, I, I understand. I'm on your side, Capricorns. I feel you right now. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. We got the fucking justice out here. So there was definitely a situation where this person did you wrong. It's just what the fuck it is. I see it out here in the spread and I'm going to call it the fuck out. And this is why this person is losing their damn mind and they're not able to sleep. They can't get no sleep at night. They're restless here because they know what the fuck they did. Mm, 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 mm. Clarify the two of swords, glory, and angels, ancestors, and then we're going to pull out the love, romance, angel deck, and finish up with some spiritual advice for you. Why do we have the two of swords here when it comes to this situation here, glory, and angels for Capricorn? Thank you. We have the three of pentacles. Yes, I can't make this up. This person placed some of you all here in a third party here. All right. And this is why you're blocking this particular person here. You're very guarded when it comes to your heart, which is I understand. All right. But this person once before placed you in a third party. OK. And you was not happy with that. Others of you, this person wants to collaborate with you. All right. And this is why you're indecisive because this person wants to come back with you and to you and say, Capricorns, I want to try to work this out. All right. Some of y'all could have even met this person at your workplace here. OK, but this person definitely wants to come back and collaborate. They definitely want to come back and try to start over, start fresh with you. It's why you have the two of pentacles here, because you're like, I don't know. I feel like I'm better here being on my own when it comes to you, however. OK, right. I don't understand, honey. You use your discernment. Yes, we have the six of pentacles here because you want give and even take here. You don't want no bullshit. You don't want to be breadcrumb. You see how. This person is getting more pentacles over here versus this person. And this is what this person tried to do to you once before. Breadcrumb you. And you can't breadcrumb no damn Capricorn. What? Okay, we ain't got time for that. All right, so let's dive a little deeper here. Let's get into your love life with the love romance angel deck here. All right, again, if the reading is resonating with your spirit and your higher self, don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up. All right, show spirit some love. If you're new here, my loves, again, subscribe. You're part of family. This is where we love and we evolve each and every day here on this platform, I say. All right, and don't forget to click that notification bell and select all. So, again, you're notified when I post your reading here the next two days. I'm so excited to see what the energies here progress between you and this situation here. All right, let's see here, Guardian Angels. What's going on in Capricorn's love life? What do they need to be made aware of here for the month of May? What do we have for Capricorns when it comes to their love life, guardian angels? What do they need to be made aware of? What do Capricorns need to be made aware of when it comes to their love life? Okay, Capricorns. We don't want to talk about our love life right now. I think I done said enough, huh? Thank you. What do we have here? Wow. Chemistry. Lean in, Cappies. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Ooh. All right. So in other news, you have someone coming in. If you haven't met this person already here, damn. We have romantic feelings here. Your feelings are real and worth exploring here. So there's someone new for some of you all here. If you haven't met this person already, Capricorns, okay? Some of you have already met this person here is why you're recognizing and how you're recognizing that there's so much of a magnetic pull with this connection here, all right? This person is really attractive to you, okay? So that's why that king or queen of wands came out as well, all right? So let's see how this particular energy feels towards you, Cappies. Mm-hmm. Yes, I knew it. All right, so you have a choice, a decision here to make, obviously with the two of swords here, because I feel like once you moved on, you start loving yourself, appreciating who you are, understanding what your worth is, okay? And now you just have energies coming all around from the woodworks, okay? And be mindful, because we are in retrograde for Mercury retrograde, so a lot of energies that 
you know, that you need to tie up loose ends with, reflect, revise with, okay? When it comes to people from your past, all right, you will be going through that process. These energies could be coming in your dream space as well to reconcile with you, all right? So just be mindful and making sure that you are following your intuition here, Capricorns. All right, so let's see here. Let's see how this new energy feels towards you for some of y'all that's already met this person. All right, how does this particular person feel that has this chemistry? Wow, damn, Capricorns. Let's make a baby. Look, the chemistry is so strong between you two. This person is already ready to make a baby. They ain't fucking around. They ain't playing no games. They want to make a baby right down now. Well, damn, Capricorns, what you doing to him? I wasn't the fly on the wall. Shit. What else, Source Angels, Ancestors, in regards to this new romantic energy here that's coming towards Cappies? What else do Capricorns need to know here, Source? You're definitely going to get give and even take when it comes to this energy here, honey. Yes, you bring the freaky side of me out. Well, damn, this is why this person ready to have a damn child with you. Here, every time y'all go there or get intimate here, this person be ready to damn near impregnate your ass. I'm just saying, I can't make this up. I can't control myself around you, Capricorns. Damn, baby, what are you doing to him, Cap? This was at the bottom of the deck. I wish we could be together right now. Right now, right now. Ooh-wee. All right, this is going to be a little hot and spicy relationship here, honey. You two are not going to be able to keep your hands off each other. I'm just saying, Capricorns. Shit. All right, they can't control themselves when they're around you. You bring the freaky side of them out. They want to make and have your baby. And they wish they could be around you right now. This person could be at a distance from you. You may have met this person online for some of you all. All right, but they're definitely going to be coming towards you here, okay? Because they are not going to be able to last here. They recognize the chemistry between you two. They get all in their feelings romantically here. Baby, bay, okay? Some of y'all has just been quite a, quite a long time or since you even put yourself back out on the dating scene, like I said. Because most of you all here are single. And others of you all are removing yourself from this particular situation here, this relationship that was injustice to you. All right, and you move forward here and you're healing. So I'm picking up several different timelines here, right? So just take it wherever timeline you're on. I say we're all moving on different timelines. We're all on different levels of involvement, I say. All right, so now we're going to finish up here with word of advice from your guardian angels and ancestors. All right, Capricorns, again, if the reading resonated, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Source angels, ancestors, what do we have here for my sexy ass Cappies? What? Word of advice can they take away from this beautiful spread here today, Brian Angels? What we have for Capricorn? Thank you. We have two cards to come out here for you, Caps. All right, we have the Five of Water. Things not turning out the way you hope. Not seeing the positive in a situation. Crying over spilled milk. All right. So, yes, I feel like this was a point where some of you all were at going through your healing phase and your healing process. And others of you, this is what this particular air sign or this particular person, whoever is embodying the energies here, right? This person was at a point where they felt like they lost you, okay? And some of y'all, they still do feel this way who have removed themselves from this particular person due to them, you know, doing things behind your back, betraying you, things of that sort, right? This person is now having to go through this process and feel and get an understanding of how they hurt you. The five of water is aka the five of cups in the traditional tarot deck, which talks about hurt, pain, sorrow, regrets, right? Things of that sort here. And this is what this person is currently processing, all right? Of course, yes, you process this as well, Capricorns. But like I said, I feel like now... You are more focused on yourself here. You've been gaining your energy back. You've been manifesting things for yourself here. Like I said, some of y'all manifest this new partner here as well here. Yeah, we have the three of fire here. This is AKA the three of wands, right? This is what you've manifested for yourself. Okay, it says abundance. Yes, lean in Cappies. I can't make it up. Things look very good for you now, Capricorns. Have patience at this time. 
make long-term plans okay so whatever plans you have moving forward during your life all right make sure to make sure that your t's are crossed and that your i's are dotted all right when it comes to your future plans okay your goals for here from five years from now right make sure to be very detailed when it comes to what it is that you want to manifest for yourself here and because of this situation it allow you to be able to open up and have a new perspective on your life right so wow capricorns beautiful reading here again again i hope the reading has resonated with who it needed to resonate for if so, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Again, hit that join link, all right, and become an evolving spirit like I myself. Also, I am available for personal readings. If you would love to book a personal reading with me, all that information is down below in the description box, my loves. I love you so much, Capricorns. Congratulations. I wish you the best of luck here. Abundance is on the way. Either way it go, all right? So shout out to you. I love you, Caps. Mwah. Bye-bye.